pretty quick fun. with it. Pretty quick with it. Yeah, I love to see it. Even though we do love seeing the quad stream that come up true. now and then. All right, here we go. Game one. It's all Ling versus Peko earlier. Pretty insane to go through, you know, that entire set. I mean, uh, Jijo, it's pretty insane to see him use the item play. But now I'm curious how he's going to use turn up in this set. Mm -hmm. And I do want to point out that we have seen, you know, it almost feels like the theme of the night is uh, item, item play. Item play. And we've definitely seen before the car flow versus dill set. Car flow is absolutely proficient. We saw that. In I saw the proficient earlier with you know how he had gyro utilizing it too. So I'm mm -hmm. kind of curious on his side how he would utilize turn up. Yeah. That being said, though, we haven't seen a whole lot of turn up coming out from Ling. It is not as centralizing to Peach's game plan in the same way that Rob Gyro is. But you're absolutely right, and I think it's because you know Roy can typically just catch it with like an area. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Carflo had the read right there on Skid, Ling's not momentum. Going for the, yep, not going for the full side beat. Smart. Get a couple of side beat. And this is definitely what I love to see out of Carflo. Carflo is a player that I've described many times as a player who just holds W so Absolutely much. Right. Like he did the right w, there. Not holding the, the W there, but getting called by the turn up. A good guy by Ling, by the way. Getting hit by that fair from the platform. Mm hmm but just the, we saw the delay right there from Carflow, getting him a fantastic hit against Ling. And that's that's what I want to see is being able to still utilize that speed of Roy and being able to hold that momentum, but holding back just a little bit to oh, yeah, be right. to he secure He had full moments. momentum during that first stock too. Right now, though, Carflow is kind of struggling to find this first stock on Ling, and the chip damage is yep. starting to rack up. But get, jumping from one, getting the up air, getting the stock right there. Mm -hmm. And only 57% extra credit on Carflow right now. That is, you know, that's, 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 a, that's a Roy touch. Yeah, that is literally just, that's a, fine. That's just a, a little shoulder tub right there. Yeah. Being said, though, stuck at ledge again is Carflow able to weave his way around that side beat coming out from Ling. Absolutely right. Getting hit by a back air, though. And a phantom hit on that forward air. Carflo just making it out with his life. Just barely right there. Absolutely right. Trying to swing away from the death. Almost got caught there by a fair. Great spacing by Carflo. Weaving in and out from that dash attack. Just getting getting that shield pressure, too. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of like great footsies play come out from really both of these players, especially just in the way that uh, you know Peach has that float available to her, making that neutral so much more oppressive with her otherwise fairly stubby buttons. Absolutely right. We've seen it from both players. Just movement, movement. Waiting for an option to see. Yep, and once again, Carflow utilized just holding his ground and uh, keeping Ling at bay. Absolutely right. You know, at 136 too, you know, he's already brought it back to an even game. Mm -hmm. Back air across the stage, not going to be doing it just yet. But now Ling has to find his way off of the ledge, and Carflow is utilizing Ooh, I love these. that back air, spacing it perfectly to avoid the fair, too. Yep, and Carflow is utilizing the speed of Roy to make sure that he's able to use the platforms in ledge traffic as well. Double edge dance not quite getting the sweet spot, means Ling is going to be living a little bit longer once again. Absolutely right, both players still going on. Carflow is swinging it all on his shield. Yeah, back throw, not going to be doing it quite yet. Even nice great high recovery. Ledge. That's another air dodge right there. Perfect. Getting the spot dodge the fair. Can take that stock. And finally getting the forward tilt. Carflow is finally finding that stock lead, but not going to be caught, finding yep. extra credit for it. Getting caught by the back air. It's going to take that stock. We're back to an even game. Yep, Ling at the ledge once again. Finally finding the jab, but not finding anything out of it. The super armor from Blazer coming through. Yep, getting two free uppers, though. At the cost of getting punished for it. Ooh, okay. Not, unfortunately, not able to connect that forward air. Ling gonna be finding his way back into center stage, but right back into the loving arms of Carflo's up air. Ooh, that shield looking mighty crisp right now. I'm loving the way Carflo's playing, the spacing, and everything from it. It's phenomenal. Yee! That's gonna be a jab yep, back, back air. air, but still good DI from Ling. That being said, though, a lot of things are gonna start killing from Roy. Not able to capitalize on the early parasol. Nice again. Nice patience there. Mm -hmm. Powerful, just waiting, choosing option, and it worked out in his favor. 
Ooh, Carflo wanted the roll in. Did and got the roll anyways. Good in the back here. May not be a roll in, but it's definitely a roll. It is. And it's gonna be Carflo taking game one over our third seed. It is. Carflo is absolutely playing on a tear tonight, and it looks like our counter pick from Ling will be Battlefield. Battlefield. Oh. Carflo banning Kalos and FD in that situation. There, we saw him right there. Catch it immediately. Good awareness from Carflo. Mm -hmm. Loving the way he's playing. I'm loving this movement. All right, so let's see how Battlefield... Uh, how Battlefield helps Ling in this game, too. Absolutely right, but right now it's helping Carflow with these extensions. 41, 56 on the board and counting. Yeah, important to note that uh, Battlefield, regular Battlefield was Carflow's counterpick against Dill as well. So no stranger to the triplat. And already we're seeing the proficiency come out zero or 85% unanswered from Ling. Dang. And Carflow potentially going to be converting into a zero to death Possible zero, yep, yeah, a possible zero. Oh, we're getting caught. And we're seeing okay. the Peach combos. 65, just from that? Yeah, that's Ooh. just Peach things. Ooh, we're getting caught by a back air. Yeah, no, Carflow saying, all right, yeah, that combo was cute, but I can kill. That is true. You did get the kill. Being said, the great jump out of the way, recognizing that Ling was looking for that grab. Yep. Talk about, you know, when to commit, when not to. Carflow seems to be the person to know when to and when not to right now. Right, see, and also utilizing the battlefield platforms to mix up his recovery back down to the ground. Nice turn of conversion from yep. Ling. Avoiding the jab too. I love the way that Carflow used the forward air to get through the turn up, not wasting any resources on an air dodge and or a double jump. Hitting, Mew using Dancing Blade too, just to get back on stage. Yeah, low percent too. Yeah, we see that come out from Carflow a lot. Just a lot of like big swinging hitboxes to make his way back onto stage. And Carflow with this pressure right now, 77s. Patience and everything from Carflow is just phenomenal. His awareness too, you know, the platforms, they play a role in helping Ooh, out. Goodness, Carflow really looking to end things right now in this game too. Absolutely right, he wants to take that stock, he wants to take the lead tremendously too. Nice up air, kill though, back air. Yeah, and I mean, this is another way that Battlefield really shines for Carflow is like, you know, it is obviously beneficial to have platforms to mix up your landings, but if you get stuck on them and Carflow is trying to shark you with up airs, it is a terrifying position to be in. As we saw the first talk, you know, those up airs were insane. Ooh. And an anti air up tilt coming out from Carflow. Now, one stock away from putting Ling into losers. You're absolutely right. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Carflow's movement is phenomenal. All right. So he's the one doing the pressure. He's I'll pressure Ling right now. Ling Absolutely. Has Ling has to find a way to get back into this. And this is the way that I love to see Carflow level up because he's such a momentum based player, but knowing when to hold back, he's still able to keep that momentum without necessarily. I agree. While still kind of giving up his turn, so to speak. Like, ooh, tried to get the NSL Let's get caught by a down smash. Ling only took 22%. Yeah, now we're looking at a pretty even game, but Carflow with another jab back here to put Ling back off stage. A dash attack from Ling, though. Back into neutral. Okay, and Ling, again, like you said, the battlefield platforms right there, giving two free uppers right there. And, and Carflow just taking control of the center stage, but one whiffed up tilt meant Ling got a Nice little conversion put on the damage. Nice back here from Carflow too. Jab back Again, here. Another jab back here. Yeah, Carflow really just has his finger on the pulse of what Ling wants to do from ledge. Right there, trying to use the double edge dance to cover multiple options from Ling, but not quite working out. Up in the air. Nice get up attack. Creating some space, trying to get back to stage and get neutral back. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Has to use the double oh, jump. Oh, nice what tag. A tag. Caught the turtle and was able to tag it too. It's like, you know, Roy's. Oh, yeah. Roy's, going high. Roy's recovery is still 
somewhat exploitable at the end of the day, and Ling recognizing that even after all of the tricks that Carflow had to throw out, and Ling is going to be taking us to a yeah, game no. three. And we saw it there too. Carflow's patience and everything. I don't know. But we saw there at the end, you know, he was able to use a turn up to cover his low recovery, was able to catch him when he went high. Yeah, right there. Carflow opting to go for the air dodge catch on the turn up, not quite working out for him. Whereas before, he would simply use a hurt uh, hitbox to so, get rid of the turn up. And like I said, right there, we saw it. He couldn't go low. He's going to get hit by the turn up. Going a little too high and Link catching him there. Oh no, Town and City? Oh, We've allowed Carflow to go to Town and City? This is another moment of does he know? Does he know? Now, I do want to point out, this is still a a pretty good Peach stage. Obviously, the, um, the FD style layout is very conducive to Peach combos. And as well, Peach kills off the side pretty well. You know, he's got forward air, he's got neutral air, but Carflow kills off the side extremely well. And we can already see the utilization of the retreating platforms as well to mix up his recovery. Carflow... Hey. But right now, Link in the driver's seat, you know, look at this. Getting some big damage. Catching with the Nair. Ooh, good DI. But... Oh, I think, yeah, Carlo is not jump. able to keep his jump. And that's going to be Link taking an extremely... Like you said, this is definitely a, a great save for Peach, too. Not just for Roy. Link utilizing the stage really well, as we saw that first stock. Yeah, we're going to see if Carflow can utilize the the small inward blast zones of Town and City this to really advantage. make things work. You know, it's something that we say on the stream uh, sometimes is like, no one picks Town and City with good intentions. Yeah. This is this is a criminal stage, and You're we're going to see I, I if agree. Carflow can get away with robbery. Every player that chooses this map has intention on this stage. I mean, they've got intentions to win. I want to see sure. if Carflow can still keep this momentum back. No, he in had his some strong favor. momentum from the first game and the last game. Right now, it's Ling's momentum. Oh, yeah. using his jump again, but this time it's Ling's momentum. Yeah, it feels like you know, Carflow being My a player God. who can really like step on the gas. It feels like that gas tank is starting to empty. Yeah. We're seeing Ling a just pretty much refilled his. Like, that's what it feels like. Yeah, Ling's feeling like, I just woke up from a nap. I'm having a good time. It took like a power nap, but nice back here. You're going to take that stock. Powerful finally on the board in his last. Ah, he's catching the turn with the packer. Oh, no. And that is going to be a rather anticlimactic game three for an otherwise extremely explosive set from these two. Absolutely right. I blinked. You know, what happened? What the heck? Uh, Carflo, Come on, guys. Carflow died. Guy to turn happened. up about three times? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, let's go through all of them. Let's yeah, see what happened. Yeah. What happened to this first stock? All right, this is where my eyes are like going. My, my eyelids are going down for yep, the first part one. of the blink, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. This that's is that's where that's the that's blink that's is occurring, <laughs> right? Your my eyelids are, are closed, rehydrated. Uh, right? Yep, yep. The hydration two, is happening. Number two. Huh? All right. And then right as my eyes are opening, right as my eyes are still like beginning to focus and see what is happening within the real world. Yep. Adjusting to the light. And then... What happened? Good. I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, jeez. Getting, getting caught by a turn up there was unfortunate. <laughs> All three stocks. God damn. Yeah, what a what adaptation coming out from Ling oh, as well. After yo. a very um, a very dominant game one coming out Explosive from Explosive and dominant game one from Carful. And then he had the momentum on him on his side of game two. But, you know, couldn't clutch out the game. Ling able to take it. And then game three, Ling's like, now I have momentum on my side. Yep, so that is going to be Ling moving on into winner's finals while Carflow sitting comfortably in loser's yep, quarters. Ling is going to have to play the winner of Pal Palco and Peko Jen. And Jen. Peko and Jen. But